from Adirondack Girl at Heart. Today, I wanted to talk with you about my vintage finds from this last weekend. If you read my blog post today, then you know that my sweet husband and I went to one estate sale and a flea market on Saturday. So why don't we start there with the 11 items that I bought at the estate sale for $8. I picked up this little pressed glass amber toothpick because toothpicks sell really well for me in the 10 to $12 range. And also I'm planning on doing a blog post about collecting toothpicks. This, um, so this is one of the 11 items that I got for $8. I also picked up this black darner. Um, I collect 10 or 12 sewing notions together and sell them on eBay for 10 to $15. Um, I did sell a set of 10 notions on Etsy in January for $12. So I have pretty good luck with selling sewing notions and I, I enjoy selling them. I also picked up this little um, ceramic deer, not because it's so old, but because I think I can use it next year in a some sort of Christmas project that I can sell at the big Christmas craft show that I do every year. I also picked up two pieces of ironstone. Um, I am planning on doing a course on Ironstone. Um, if you're interested in taking a course like that, I'd love to hear it in the comments. So this is just a plain, um, like a salad plate. They don't sell that great, but I really, I loved the back stamp. Just a super clear back stamp for a company that I'm not sure um, that I have had a piece from this company or not before. This is H. Alcock Company in from England, and I would date it to the late 1800s. Um, the second piece, I cannot read the back stamp. It's an incised back stamp. I'm gonna have to spend some time on that, but it's a grapevine. Um, it's actually an ink this leaf. Um, yeah, it's not, it looks like a grape leaf, but they call it an ink, ink, ink this leaf pattern. Um, I would date it to about the 1870s. Um, it will probably, it's in perfect condition and I think I can sell it for my booth for 10 to $12, maybe more. I might actually try to sell it online to see how Ironstone does on Etsy. I also picked up this Smokey the Bear ruler. Anything Smokey the Bear sells, um, probably $8, $6 to $8. And I got this um, very cool snake. Can you see that? Um, snake pendant, which um, I will put on a ball and chain and sell for probably 10 to $12. And I picked up a few books. The first one is A Christmas Carol. I just, I thought this cover was really beautiful with the um, embossed gold roses. Um, Christmas Carol is always popular. That would sell in the 10 to 12 to $15 range. And I picked up a Nancy Drew. She's one of my all time favorites. I, I read her all the time when I was a kid and even when I was pregnant, for whatever reason, I found them very comforting. Um, I have a blog post planned on Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. And so I wanted a copy of one of the Nancy Drews from the 1930s. That's when this dates from, and it has the recognizable interior there. And I have a project that's coming up, a bookmark project, and I've been using children's books to make these bookmarks, and I just loved the animals, the animal um, artwork in this book. So that came home with me. And the last item from the estate sale is this funky, rusty, I don't know, vent or something. But I thought I could, this could be like the skirt of a junk angel, something like that, 
or I don't know, a candle holder or something. I don't know, I had to bring it home. So that was the estate sale. Now let's take a look at what I got at the flea market. It was a really great flea market, probably 50 to 60 vendors in multiple locations throughout the Malta Community Center. That's where they hold the flea market in the winter. And in the summer, they're outside at the Malta um, Drive-In Theater. So like I said, it was really fun. I bought from probably six or seven different vendors. So the first I bought, I don't know how many items I have here. Oh, 17, I think I have 17 items. No, I paid $17, I'm not sure how many items, but from here on in, you're gonna see what I got at the flea market. So this, believe it or not, is a bottle brush wreath, and it's hard to tell because it is heavily encrusted. It's like with white, gold. it's like faux snow, but this is gold, and it has these red mercury um, glass beads and the velvet ribbon. I'm um, working on a course, many of you know, about Christmas and one of the sections is about bottle brush trees and other decorations. So I bought that to include a picture of it in the course, but um, it's worth probably eight, eight to ten dollars. And I also picked up this enamelware pie plate. This was two dollars and I just, I love the color. Um, I also just updated my enamelware price guide and my blog post about collecting enamelware. If you want to take a look at those, I'll put links in the comments below. Um, it's not worth a lot of money. I just, <laughs> I love enamelware. It's probably worth maybe eight to $10. Another blog post that I'm working on is all about milk glass. And so I found two pieces of milk glass at the flea market. This one is um, has a grapevine panel pattern. And I bought it because I have two other grapevine panel pieces. And I wanted to compare them and see if I could um, discern which company made which piece. So I picked this one up, that was $2. And then I picked up this little Victorian piece of milk glass, little vanity jar. These unfortunately do not sell well for me. Victorian is not popular, currently popular right now generally, and is not popular in my um, antique shop, but I wanted to have a couple of examples of Victorian era milk glass, and this was just really darling, and it was $3 at the estate sale. I can probably sell that from my, my booth for um, $8 to $10. I think I might keep it though, because I have a personal collection of vanity jars, which I do have a blog post about also. Okay, what else? Um, I bought several blocks, toy blocks. These were two for a dollar, they were 50 cents. And uh, I just thought they were really unique and I liked them. They are definitely antique. I got five letter blocks. I got two of these. This one shows a duck with a, I guess that's a duck herder or duck farmer, and then a cow. I'm gonna do something with these. I just, I don't know what. And then these two, this is like a Cinderella coach kind of. And then, oops, <laughs> this one's a train. So those were neat. I picked up some kind of fixture-y like things, gold, brass, uh, bits to hang projects and I thought this was really interesting. This is an embossed um, jar. It's got castles and knights on the side. I hope you can see that and the lid says Ivanhoe from the kitchen of Ivanhoe Foods Inc. Auburn, New York. Auburn is a few hours um, away from me. 
Um, that was $2. I just, I've never seen this one before. It still had the lid. Really interesting. Um, could be like a $15 to $20 item. And the last piece that I got at the flea market was this um, print. Beatrix Potter print. It's dated 19, 1952. I am probably going to use this for a project of some kind, a mixed media art project. Um, it was a dollar, so I really couldn't pass it up. I know you can relate. I know you understand about those things that you just can't pass up. <laughs> So that's my finds from this past weekend. I hope your week is great and happy hunting.